Hi everyone, welcome to the Mama Elephant 11th anniversary release. This is the final day of videos tomorrow on the 14th. Mama Elephant will announce the anniversary promo and the release and stampede will start on the 15th. Make sure to follow Mama Elephant's Instagram for the stampede, which is Mama Elephant's three-day Instagram hop featuring all of the projects the design team and friends have been creating using the new release. Today we'll be taking a look at Holiday Huggers. This is one of my favorites of the release and I love when Mama Elephant creates these stamps that have little paws that hold onto things and they also created little images like the envelope, the mug, and the present and the stocking so you can stuff your little critters in. I really love the bunny image on this one. I also really love the little present with the top because you can use the top as a little hat and you can put the critter behind the box part of it. Here's a look at the coordinating dies. For the critters, it'll cut out the little paws so you can insert a little something that they can hold. Also the envelope, the mug, the stocking and also and the stocking will have little slits that you can tuck these critters into or whatever stamp set you like. I'll be coloring in the images using Copic markers today. I will have a list of the Copic markers I used in the description box below, but I'm using the typical colors that I use. Um, these are kind of like my ride or die colors. So for the pinks, I'm using R20, R21, and R22. I used also a different pink combination, R30 and R32. And for the browns, I'm using E50 because I always use E50. That's the lightest uh, fur color. And then E30, E31. And then the next combination is E34 and E35. I'm using the BG11, BG32, and also some grays. I love when Mama Elephant creates these hugger type stamp sets where the coordinating dies cut out the little paws. You can have the little critters hold different things and you can use different uh, stamps from different stamp sets if you like. I also like the little slits because it makes it really cute to um, tuck them in into the image. I decided to use like a pastel red and green color scheme, but when I showed Hubby the card, he <laughs> said it reminded him of the 80s and Miami Vice. I like using lighter colors because it's easy on the eye and also it is easier for me to color because the colors are very forgiving and they're really easy to blend out. I could color these all day long. They were so fun to color and there's so many different color combinations that you can use for all the different images. I wanted to use the Make It Merry Sentiment stamp set that's new for this release. Um, as my sentiment, I'm using the Make It Merry one. I'm stamping out two because I didn't know exactly which one I wanted to use, but I did end up using the Make It Merry one. I also wanted to make a slim line card uh, because I wanted to feature all of the images on one card and I'm using slim comic strip as my die. So I cut it out and I wanted uh, the 
panel with the sentiment to be white. Um, so I have that second one. That's where I'm going to be putting in my sentiment. So when I have a die that's pieces like this and it makes like the whole card front, I just like to flip it over and tape it in the back so it's together. And that way I can adhere this whole big piece onto the card base. So here I'm kind of playing around with the images and I'm seeing which goes well together. And I'll just be deciding which panels I want things on. So I knew I wanted the sentiment to stand out. So I did that one first so I could make sure that I had room for it. I had a lot of extra pieces. So I decided to use my extra present box to kind of dress up the sentiment. So I put the top of the box on top of the sentiment and then I put the box itself on the bottom. And then I had an extra little candy cane so I put it on top of the box and I just loved how that looked. I used double-sided foam adhesive to pop up the box top and box so it sits nicely over the sentiment which I glued directly to the card front. So for this, I wanted the images to be flat to the card. Uh, you can have these little huggers, critters. Um, you don't have to adhere them if you don't want to, but for this card, I wanted them to be kind of flat to the card. So I sometimes tape it in the back so it's flat and it adheres nicely to the card. I love the main images, but I also really love the scene building images. I love the little candy cane. You can use that on other projects. And I really love the shape of the holly on this one. And so I did, I think two pieces. So I decided to dress up the areas that I thought were a little bit empty. And I just, I just love the look of holly on holiday cards. I think the last piece I had was a present box and so that didn't fit but I did use the topper and I put it on top of the little dog image and I just it's so cute. This card came out way cuter than I had imagined um, so I'm really happy with this one. So now that I'm done with the card front, I'm going to adhere it to the card base. And the sizing on this is eight and a half by seven, and you score at the three and a half uh, to make your card base. And that is it, I'm calling this card done. And that is a wrap for me. Make sure to stop by Mama Elephant's Instagram on the 14th to see the promo announcement. The release drops on the 15th and starts the three day stampede. I love seeing what the design team made. I've seen some of it, it is incredible and we hope to see you there. Bye guys.